Don't you like hospitals? Only when I'm sick. I wonder who gets to use this place. Any American GI, any war. For free? Huh. Everybody here is paid in full. City of Wheels. Wonder how you act around them. Like a human being. We're gonna be late. Let's go. So go. Come on, Madeira, knock it off. They want to get by. I'll let them get by. I've had him. You all right? What's that for? Want to do you a good deed for today? Maybe you'd like to wipe my nose, too? You're big enough to do that yourself. I'm big enough for a lot of things. Sweet. Remember you in my prayers. Wipe the blood off before you get in the car. Cut me up pretty good, huh? I guess he didn't want your help. I want to apologize to my idiot friend. He was out of line as usual. Well, I guess I should have known better. <laughs> These babies become part of us. There's not much we can't do with them. My name's Matt Hicks. Uh, Murdoch, Buzz. Dials. They call me Smudge. You fellas looking for someone? Yeah, the VA in town sent us out to be interviewed. Oh, where are you going to be at? I'm supposed to be in the Red Cross section, and he's going to be at the pool. pool. Ah, my two favorite hangouts. Well, then maybe you can tell us where they are. Oh, the pool's around the back. And the Red Cross is in the recreation hall, down the end of this road and to the right. Thanks. Hope you get lucky. Fine, sir. We'll see you around, huh? Oh, I'll be here. <laughs> well, why don't you keep the car? You can drop me. not to drown. Could be embarrassing. my guest. Let's see the 
sassafras goes right in there. And we'll close the thingamajig and some of this jazz in there. And close the whatchamacallit. And uh, take up some of the slack. And now the whole thing should uh, blow up. Should we give it a go? Why not? I never did that before. <laughs> You're crazy, but I like you. Can I get the job? Are you the replacement? I am he. Well, you were hired. Okay, what do I do? What you did just now, just keep this thing going and show movies to the bed patients on the ward. Are you the boss? Well, do you mind? Well, you have to be out of your head to mind. When do I start? Two minutes ago. My name is Midge Duran. Todd Stiles, and uh, boss lady, I think I'm going to enjoy working for you. You handle yourself pretty well. When can you start? Well, when do you need me? As soon as you dry off. <laughs> you want to call it a day? No, I think I'll try it one more time. Murdoch, give me a hand over here, will you? Rod, you work like you're getting paid by the hour. Frank! Excuse me. About last night, can we forget it? I already have. Well, I'm glad. Do I see you tonight? Sure, you'll see me. I'm not going anywhere. I mean about our date. Haven't you had enough? No. No, I haven't. Well, I have. You said forget about last night, well, I say forget about tonight. And all the tomorrow nights. Because there aren't going to be any more for us. Any good reason? Yeah. Two good reasons. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Basketball, how does it work? Not like a paddle with a ball or pass it. You get two points for a basket, one if you hit the backboard. What about uh, fouls? What about them? Well, look who's here. This is Mama's little helper. You the new boy here? Yeah, I'm the new boy. You really pick him? What is that supposed to mean? Just what it says. It means I'm sure you'll be an inspiration to all of us. Where are 
Are you going to have poor little old me in the water, Mr. Boy Scout? If you want me to. Pretty tough game. Man has to be in good shape to hold his own, huh? Now, these fellas are. In the water, they're the equal of any man. Sometimes better. I believe it. Especially that one. He plays for keeps. That tough nut. Who is he? Frank Madeira. Fighter pilot, served in the Pacific and Korea, 28 kills. Is that the way he got, uh... Not then. Got it last year in the reserves, putting in flight time. Tire blew out when he was landing. One of those things. That's a tough way to get it. Anyway, it's a tough way. What counts is how you handle it. Seem to be handling it all right. Percent of them handle it fine. They accept and live with it. It's that other one percent that tears you up. Go real sour. Hi. They keep you busy? Earned my paycheck. How'd it go? I got a lot to learn, but <laughs> how'd it go with you? Same here, but I like it. Yeah, so do I. You didn't feel that way this morning. Well, this morning I didn't know much about this place. You know, I mean, I was just here for the buck, and that's it. And now? I feel I can do some good. And I, I kind of like the feeling that what I do is appreciated. I know what you mean. ladies kindly consent to share a table with a poor lonely soul shall we make him happy why not that lonely bit that does it every time <laughs> no 
Lori Barton, Todd Stiles. Hi. Hi. Works for me. Now, you see what happens? You give a woman a little authority over a man, and right away she grinds him into the ground. They lose all feminine identity. I can be very plainly identified as a female when the occasion demands. Prove it. How? Tonight, dinner, dancing, cocktails, etc. I like everything but the etc. Agreed? Is it a date? Agreed. Good. <laughs> if we just ignore him, maybe he'll go away. Is there something you want, fella? An introduction. I never saw him before. <laughs> uh, can I sit down? No. Thank you. I'm a Buzz Murdoch. Laurie Barton, Mitch Duran. You told me he was your best friend. Aren't you even going to ask him to join us for lunch? Well, he usually doesn't join the peasants. He has his private dining room off the pool. <laughs> well, in this case, I'll make an exception. Uh, Miss Duran has agreed to have dinner with me tonight. Great. Why don't we chaperone? I have to work late, but I'd be happy to join you later. Well... Believe me, you're a very lucky guy. I believe you. Let's face it, she stood you up. Now, why don't you finish your drink and take a cab home and suffer there? You know, that's why I call him friend, because he's got such understanding and uh, sympathy. I just can't stand to see you unhappy. It spoils my whole evening. Selfish. Don't worry. Laurie's not the type to stand anyone up. Well, that makes me feel better. Now, why don't you make me feel better? How about a dance? Oh, uh... Incidentally, if she doesn't show up, I'll let you have one quick dance with Mitch before you leave. Thanks, alum. <laughs> you got a problem? Maybe I can help. <laughs> no, thanks. I can manage. Well, I hate to see a lady with a problem. Suppose we have a drink and talk about it. Oh, come on, doll. I'm Ben. We're all out for a few laughs. Could be I'm the guy that can give them to you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Standing here long? No, I just came in. Well, um, we got a table over there. Come on. something to drink? Oh, whatever you're having. Uh, one of these for the lady and uh, three more for us, okay? <sighs> you know, you, um, well, you started to have me a little worried. What did they say? I got hung up at the office? I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. You look very, very. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> That's funny, you know, a minute ago I was the uh, saddest guy here, and now I got this silly grin on my face. It's a nice grin. Don't change it. this tired old body around all evening. I'll see what I can do about taking him off your hands. Well, why don't you start right now, buddy? Uh, dance, huh? I'd love to. Well, now I think this party's really gonna start to roll. He couldn't have picked a nicer girl. Well, he could have picked you. 
Remarks like that will get you somewhere. again then. Maybe tomorrow night? Why don't we enjoy tonight first? Sit down at the table. I know it doesn't. It's cool. Relax, Smudge. I like it here. Relax, the man says. You want to talk about it? It's personal, but it's got nothing to do with you. Get to finish this dance with me. No, thank you. I dance a lot better than your friend there. The lady said she didn't want to dance. If you back off a little, maybe I can get her to change her mind. If you make me stand up, I'll put you in the hospital. Sure, friend. Don't have to get nasty about it. There's always one in the crowd and always at the wrong time. Protected your lady fair without causing her the slightest embarrassment. Come on, come on, knock it off. I drink to you, O oh great protector of womanhood. Uh, sorry, Buzz. I... I'm sorry, Buzz. I... He, he just drained all the fun out of the evening. 
Well, come on, I'll take you home. You're nice people, Buzz, but I don't want any more problems tonight. No problems. Okay. He offer you trouble. The car's over there. I'll put the top up. I'm all right. You hungry? No, but I'd like to go for a drive. Any special place? No. Just drive. Look, uh, I've got a long nose. Tell me, uh, is he your guy? He's nobody's guy. It's the way he wants it. But that's not the way you want it, right? <laughs> I don't know how I got into this. When he first came here, it was strictly nurse patient. All he wanted to do was get well. And they told him he'd never walk again. Took it hard. I think he could have taken even that if. <sighs> Frank was married. His wife came to see him a few times. He lived for those visits. Then they stopped. It wasn't very long after that that he got the letter. She wanted a divorce. All she had left was pity. He was so alone, I, I wanted to help. We dated a few times. And then one night, he held me in his arms, kissed me. I'm too old to play games, Buzz. I love hard and it shows. That's when it changed. Look, when a guy like, like Madero, who's gone through much pain, as much pain as he has, he's not about to go looking for more. Mm. I don't blame him. But I don't want to get hurt anymore either. I won't get hurt anymore. Give him notice, I'll leave at the end of the week. Have you told him that? What difference would it make? Where are you going? Another city, another town. Anywhere that's far enough. You love him that much? I mean, knowing he'll never, you know. He'll never get out of that chair. even if he could walk.
Thanks for being such a good listener. You don't have to walk me up, Buzz. Will I see you before you leave? Sure, I'll stop by the pool and say goodbye. Good night, Lori. Good night, Buzz. Here. You're a little early, aren't you, Frank? Say no more. I'll go quietly. I don't make the house rules. Look, I'm here. You want to stay? Stay. Don't do me any favors. I don't like you. The message comes across. Have fun last night? Yeah, until you came along. Madera, the little black cloud. The way you handle that joker in the bar, that was cute. Real cute. I used to be like you. Cocky, sure of myself. Till one day everything changes. You're not the same. In any way. A girl like Lori could make a difference. A girl like Lori wants a man, not half a man. How do you know what she wants? I'm not about to find out. When I was a kid, I almost drowned. I remember, after a while, it didn't hurt at all. Just kind of a soft, warm feeling. That's why I came here this morning, look at the water. Think how easy it would be, just open your mouth and let death pour in. Look, uh... There are better ways to solve a problem. What the hell do you know about it? It's easy for you to stand there, buddy boy. You tell me how to solve my problems, but you're not sitting in this chair. So until you know how I feel, don't preach me any two-bit sermon. I'll give you no sermon. No sympathy, buddy boy. Who owes you? You think you're entitled because you're sitting down? I only feel sorry for the people around here that are wasting their time and effort to make you well. If you ask me, Madeira, you're wasting time. Time that could be used on people that want it. Finished? Yeah, all finished. Well, now, once and for all, you leave me alone. Well, that's my pleasure. And Laurie, she'll leave you alone, too, because she's leaving at the end of the week, and maybe that way you can have it just the way you want it. Next time you listen to me. I'll even listen this time if you want to tell me. Oh, you even beginning to sound like a therapist. Be firm, but don't excite the patient, right? You want me to do start an argument, start screaming? Why don't you tell me what's bugging you? Look, there's, there's no such baby as a part-time Samaritan. You either go round the clock with this thing, or, or you back away from it altogether. But that's not what you're preaching. Even a little bit is better than nothing. What are we doing for the world? That's what you asked me. What are we doing for anybody? We've got our health, we've got some money in the bank, so let's make a contribution now, when we don't have to, not when we have to. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. You want me to say it again? 
I want to get out of here. I want to get as far away from this, this hospital as I can get. Because we're just now beginning to pull our own weight. Who asked us? We ask us. So now we ask ourselves, what's down that highway and how quick can we get there? That wasn't our deal. Look, I'm cutting out of here. You want to stay around to listen to your conscience sing, OK, me? I've had it. Why don't you level with me? You never ran away from anything before. Why now? Look, I'm, I'm no good with these guys. I get too emotionally involved with them. You take that guy, Madeira, he sits there and he's boiling with hate, and all I can do is stir the pot and scream at him. What good does that do? Because we do the best we can. We're not therapists. We're not supposed to be. You said it. The only medicine I know for a guy like Madeira is a, is a one-two combination or a good kick in the teeth. But he's already had a couple of those, so where do you go from there? You gonna let him beat you? Beat our tiger? He already has. I don't believe that. You better believe it. That's uh, tough luck missing that layup, guard. Yeah, what is that? It's a Frank. He's granted by the hair. What's the matter, Frank? Run out of gas? No, you go ahead. I'll catch up later. Yeah, sure, Frank. from time to time. I will when I get settled. Was it something else, Frank? No, that's it. That's about it. Best of everything, Lori.
shot. Did some of your equipment. As soon as they get a new boy. Why don't you tell them why? I don't think they need any reasons. I saw the report you filed. About the accident. Me slipping, rolling into the pool. Read pretty convincingly, didn't it? Great. Only when I told the doctor, he thought the truth read better. One thing I hate, I hate to admit that I'm wrong. I hate to apologize. Madeira, you don't owe me anything. You let me decide that. If I got something to say, let me get it out one time. Let me get it said. I'm sorry. For writing you. Things I said things I did. Look, Madeira, Frank. Well, I've been there a few times myself, so enough said, okay? In the water, I found out some. That shock of cold closed over me. I found out I didn't want the death to pour in. I didn't want it to end. All the problems disappear just by closing my eyes and breathing in the death. I wanted to live. Dear God, how I wanted to live. Don't tell me I don't owe you anything. I'll owe you for the rest of my life. Last breath of my life. I'm going to live. I'm going to go to those doctors, and I'm going to ask them to show me. They tell me, what do I do now? I'm going to ask him to help me. Why don't you tell that to Lori? Looks like you got things all squared away, huh, Tiger? Yeah, all squared away. Still want to cut out? I don't know. I just ran into Smudge and the boys on the way down to the pool. They asked me to tell you to hurry up and get down there. It seems they can't start without you. How come? You got the whistle.
This has been a Screen Gems film presentation from Columbia Pictures. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer.